push Islam from any religion, that Islam goes in line with our universal knowledge. You know what is universal knowledge? You're not recording, don't worry. You're blurring your face. Just we record it for the sake of educational purpose. Okay? What distinguishes Islam from any religion, Islam goes in line with our universal knowledge. What do I mean by universal knowledge? Universal knowledge that you and I, naturally we know that we should be grateful to the Creator. Right? We should worship Him. Okay? It's like an instinct that you know something more. That's the word instinct. You know, in Arabic, fitra. Fitra means, means someone has been created with. You understand? So, 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 for example, I always mention this example, yeah? That imagine someone give you like a, imagine I give you two million pounds. I said, look, uh, Rihanna, I'm, I'm a trillionaire, yeah? One second, because people are shouting. Let's the us. Yeah, you can put this one for to hear our conversation. One second, yeah? Imagine I said, you know, Rihanna, I'm a trillionaire, yes? I have a lot of money. I will give you two million pounds as a gift, you know? What would you say to me at least? Thank you. Thank you. Of course, you're going to remember me all the time. And you're going to be grateful to me all your life, correct? Okay. Now, I will give, I will give you two million pounds on the condition, give me your two eyes. Would you do that? No. Why? Because your eyes is more... Your eyes more valuable than two million pounds. Yeah. So why we are not be grateful to the one who gave us eyes for free? You don't see two dogs. I understand what you're saying, but the, the the problem with that is that you know I know for a fact that you exist. Okay. Your your faith, which I totally respect, yeah. is a faith. You know, you're putting your belief into something that you believe in your heart that is true, but you have not seen it. Do you understand? Whereas I've seen you give me two million pounds, so I've seen you do that act. Whereas people will argue that you know um, you could think something created you like that's fine but a lot of people don't believe that it actually Sorry, can move aside here because it's yeah? sharp and not, not a lot of people believe that you know a higher being created us people believe that we came from evolution instead of something actually created okay us. forgot people stick to you and to me okay yeah, yeah. now you said the reason that you're gonna be grateful to me because you can see me understand yeah. so now that will lead us to something called what is a source of knowledge is our source of knowledge only observation or we can come to because our faith not based upon blind faith because faith there's two meaning of it there is a faith that based upon a blind faith and there is a faith that based upon evidences proofs okay for example i never seen the person who made the phone i never seen the person literally i never seen him yes but i can know by intellectual way that just analyzing the phone the one who made the phone must be smart person do you agree with that? Yeah, even though I haven't seen him. Yeah. You see? So you agree with that even if you say 100%. So therefore, we can come to know about something with certainty, even though we haven't seen the person who made it. How? By the effect of it. Okay, I you understand. understand? So, so just let me finish the point. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Right. So the problem, if you restrict, if you restrict, if you restrict the knowledge only to observation, then only in order for me to believe in something with certainty, I have seen it, then that will lead us to a lot of problems because law of our yeah law of our information is based upon transmission of information for example rihanna imagine your mother said to you listen hello your auntie is waiting for you somewhere you're not going to say to her no no i'm not going to believe that an auntie is waiting for me somewhere until i think yes because why your mom and not just because your mom because there's other indication that you have observed and you have experience, not just observe, experience, likewise your intellectual ways to understand things that made you believe your mom is telling you something which is true. Yeah. You understand? So that's my point. My point is that we don't have to see God to believe in him. So when God sent the prophets and messengers, he gave them something which differentiated from the rest of the people. Prophecies, miracles. For example, as a Muslim, why I believe Prophet Muhammad is a true prophet? Not just because I believe like that, or I was born Muslim, no. I can establish that, for example, the Quran, the holy book, that is a miracle. Why? Let me mention one of the miracles of the Quran. Prophet, the Quran mentioned 1,400 years ago that this book has been made easy for the people to memorize it. Okay, I understand, but that book is man-made. No, it's not man-made. It, it, okay, but a, a human being wrote it. Yeah, but doesn't mean because it human beings... Yeah, but it doesn't mean because someone wrote it is a man-made. No. Because imagine now when you tell me something. Well, it could be. Yeah, of course, but now we're gonna analyze it because what is what is the what distinguishes Quran from any scripture? The Quran does not just claim to be from God. It goes beyond that. 
people, go to challenge people that if you claim in this book was a man-made, then bring something like it in its eloquency, in its prophecies, in its law, in its legislation, in its miracle. You understand? So we know human being, if they made up something, they're not going to go on and challenge people to bring something like it if they know they made it up. Because they know they're going to expose themselves. They know there's people out there who are smarter than them. But if I know what I have with me from the Creator, the Most High, I'm going to challenge everyone to bring something like it. Because I know they cannot do that. You understand? So, but, uh, the point you're saying about the phone, like the phone is a materialistic object, you know what I mean? Like it's obviously a man made thing, like phones didn't just appear the same way that you think uh, your faith is like an everlasting thing. Do you understand what I mean? No, but which one is more complicated, the phone or the, 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 your eye? The phone. No, which one is more complicated, your eye or your phone? What do you mean complicated? Complicated, which one is like more designed, there's more structure, yeah, more, eye, your eyes are way stronger. So if the phone, which is a simple, must have creator, what about your eyes, yourself? Yes, I understand. You understand, saying. that's what Allah said in the Quran, there's a chapter called Al-Insan, which means Allah said mankind. Allah said, Hal al -insani hinu min lam yakun Allah said, does human being not think there was upon a time there were not even word of mentioning? Meaning, you don't, it did not exist. Okay, so how, how do you believe that humans came about? I believe the Creator created them. God created okay, everything. Yes, but what about evolution? They come from monkeys? I don't believe evolution. It's, it, it's not proven. You know, evolution scientifically. It's no, it's not. It is. Okay, what is science? What do you mean, what is science? What is science? Define science. Define it's just a, a factual thing, like it's, it's a factual thing, you know. Like they study, no, what is the method of science? Like, science, in order to say something scientifically proven, it has to go through a method which is called scientific method. Do you know what is it? Okay, no problem. So, in order for us or the scientists to say something scientifically proven, there is a method they have to go through. You cannot just say something scientifically proven, you okay? Understand, yeah. okay? What is is collection of data based upon observation, through experimentation, then you come to conclusion. So we know, scientifically, we know, based, even a scientist, for example, one of the, the head of the science, Richard Dawkins, you, we cannot observe, even the scientists, they cannot give you an observable example when one species evolved to completely different species. Yes. What they say, we believe something happened 300 million years ago. But that is a belief that is not science. Okay. So do you, so are you saying that, you know, obviously the earth has been around for billions of years longer than humans has, right? Okay. Yeah, so you're saying that um, Allah created the world, right? Yes. Okay, so did he create the world and then humans at the same time? No, we don't believe that. We believe there was even, uh, uh, there's, there were creation before human beings, we believe. We don't know exactly, but there's a verse in the Quran when Allah wanted to create Adam, the angel said to him, are you going to create someone that will cause shed, that will shed blood upon the earth? The scholars said the reason they mentioned that, either because there's a creation called jinn, jinn which is in English they call it demon, okay? But or there were other creation before that, you with me, yeah? yeah? There were other creations. But what I would say to you is, look, uh, uh, Ryan, uh, yeah, you can see your smart girl, okay? So this universe either was created by nothing or someone created. Which one is logical and rational? Oh no, I definitely believe that this world was created. No, it's created. I do believe that, um, but I do believe in science. Like I do believe that we evolved from um, like one specific like bacteria, like from the sea, and it evolved that over millions and millions of years that we turned into this society. No, but before we come to that, well, just one second. Before we go to evolution, let's go back to, if you believe that this universe was created so therefore must have a creator yeah, of okay so that creator when you observe that's the beauty of islam islam it gives you the knowledge the truth that you can observe i understand but I, I let me finish the point sorry yeah okay. it's good. sorry to cut you yeah the point here is that when you observe this creation you can see there's a wisdom behind this creation yeah, you like agree a, with that a purpose purpose yeah. not just purpose likewise everything is connected like you have eyebrows above your eyes why is it because your sweat contains a salt? To stop if, it getting in our eyes. Why? Because it will damage your eyes. Yeah. You have a nose next to your mouth before you eat to smell food. Exactly. Yes, you have a joint in your elbows to move and yeah. take, understand. You, you know, look to the, to the wisdom of the Creator. Imagine our nose was next to our toe. It would make no sense. You see what I'm saying? So we can see. That's why Allah always like gives us. It's been like planned. 
program yeah. it's been designed yeah. you know so therefore this creator must have knowledge yeah. must have wisdom yeah. so therefore the most wise creator will not create the creation without any purpose yeah. so therefore there is a purpose yeah. therefore logic dictates the one who knows our purpose the one who made us do you agree with that so far yes of course it makes sense so far yeah, yeah. okay now the, the creator will not leave it up to our feelings and our emotions to come to conclusion what is our purpose in this life why because we have different feelings that's why we as a muslims we say based upon the creator's wisdom and his justice and mercy he sent the prophets and messengers to convey the message however however when he sent the prophets and messengers did not just send them by saying to them claim to be prophets of god stop no he gave them something that differentiate them from the rest of the people yeah. for example prophecies let me ask you before i move on who knows the future in details the future in details who knows it nobody except the one who made it yeah. like for example if i made a phone from scratch no one knows about the phone in detail except i because you made it i made it okay now when the creator sent the prophets and messengers he gave them something which called prophecies i'm gonna cite to you some prophecies that prophet muhammad said you 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 you're gonna say what is happening now watch this prophet muhammad said in a narration he said it's gonna come he mentioned about type of people that will be punished one of them someone who make up a lie in the morning in the same morning his lies will reach far east far west when the prophet muhammad mentioned the ariana that was 1400 years ago in order for you or i to travel from london to cardiff will take us three days let alone for my lie to spread far east far west in the same day that was impossible to happen back then you you with me so far yeah now what we can do make up a lie put you on instagram facebook snapchat twitter you see what happened because everywhere everywhere how men that lived 1400 years ago speaking about something not randomly detailed specific i'll give you another one prophet muhammad said there will come a time you know interest usually yeah interest will become widespread amongst people even if you are not involved directly will affect you you see what's happening now? Now you know when you open a bank account, you are in, you get involved with interest. Yeah. When you go to a Tesco, you are paying interest. So sister, please think deeply. How men that lived 1,400 years ago prophesizing something? There's a difference between prediction and prophecies. Prophecies when there is not any indication that something will occur and a person will prophesize in detail and not just once or twice or three times, many times. Also, the Prophet Muhammad, historically, amongst the historians, he was known to be trustworthy, truthful and honest. Likewise, just to take you back to the Quran, yeah? You said it's true. I, I, I agree with you. Any book can claim to be from God. That's not enough to say this book is from God. I agree. That's why the Quran has said it goes beyond that. And the Bible doesn't say that. In the Old Testament, the New Testament, the Sikh scripture doesn't say that. But when it comes to the Quran, Quran says, if you are in doubt, or everyone, Arabs and non-Arabs, if you are in doubt that this book is not from the Most High, then it brings something like it. When you read the Quran, the structure of the Quran, the prophecies, one of the prophecies of the Quran, that Allah said He will preserve this book. He will preserve what? The Quran. The Quran was revealed 1,400 years ago. So Allah said He will preserve the Quran. That is a claim. Okay? Is that enough? No. Now, can we verify this claim? You as a non-Muslim, and as a Muslim, can we verify this claim? Yes, easily. What we can do, say all Muslims, and the Christians, and the Jews, all of us, let us burn our scriptures. The only scripture that will remain with us is the Quran. You know why? Because we have children in the age of 9, 10, 20, 15, memorize the Quran word for word, letter for letter. And this has been happening since the time of Muhammad. That's why the Quran never been changed. Because it was passed down to us generation after generation. They sacrificed their life, their family, their wealth for the sake of the Quran to be preserved. They memorized it. My daughter, she's six years old. She memorized the Quran, six chapters by heart. How? That's the miracle of this book. That would distinguish, what distinguish this book? Because look, sister, yeah? everyone knows the alphabet here. Yes? Yeah. A, B, C, D. Okay? But I can, I can change it by writing by writing A, O, E. Yeah. But because you memorize it by heart, you're gonna correct me. Yeah. You see, that's why the Quran was Allah made it uh, uh, differentiated by making sure this book was easy 
for the people to memorize it. And Allah mentioned that 1,400 years ago. Allah said the Quran, وَلَقَدْ يَسَّنَّ الْقُرْآنَ لِذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُدَّكِرِ هَلْ مُدَّكِرِ We made the Quran easy to be memorized. This is a claim as well. Can we verify? Yes. Go to Africa, Asia, England, Europe, America. Not Muslim scholars. Children Muslim memorize the Quran word for word, letter for letter. Non-Arabs, you know? What do you think what I said so far to you? Does it make sense? Yeah, it does make sense. You see, you see how yeah. you see what differentiate Islam, Rayana, yeah. from look, my wife she's a revert. And my wife she said to me, what differentiates her? Huh? He's a revert as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My wife she said to me, what distinguish Islam from any religion? She was brought up as a Christian, okay? That Islam goes in line with with sound reasoning. There's only one God, create this creation. But this life is a test, sister. One day you're going to die. Uh, no, so you understand? So what about um, like other planets? Like you think Allah created them too? Allah, Allah, Allah is the creator of everything. Allah sent the Quran. Allah is the creator of everything. This is my brother. Allah create everything, yeah? Allah mentioned in the Quran. Allah said, Allah so who you, you know what Allah said? Look, sorry to cut you, Rayana, because I keep cutting you, yeah? Sorry about that. Do you know what Allah challenged people? If you claim there is other creator than Allah, then show me what they created. If you're saying there is someone who is other than Allah is the creator, show me. If someone said Jesus, Jesus was born 2000 years, how can he be the creator? If you tell me the idols, if you tell me the cow, if you tell me evolution, evolution came away after the universe. Evolution is a subject, is, is an idea. It's a theory. It's a theory, yes. Sorry, you want to say something? Um, I was just saying, you're saying that it would create something with purpose. Yes. So what's the purpose of the other planets that they have no life? Okay, firstly, they, how do you know that life has no purpose? Because you know, now... No, life does have purpose, I'm saying No, no, I'm saying, how do you know those planets have no purpose? Because, for example, Allah mentioned the purpose of creating the stars. One of the purpose, beautifying the sky. Okay, one of the purpose, people used to use it as a guideline for it to travel. Yes, also one of the purpose as a shooting star for the demons. Okay, so what you have to understand, Ryan, and I, yeah? doesn't mean because we don't know a purpose of something purpose. They, that's it. for example, let me make it clear to you. Imagine you and I who see someone cutting someone's forearm from far away, see someone holding a saw and cutting someone's forearm. You and I, we're gonna think this, this person is crazy, correct? Yeah. But guess what? When we get closer to him. And we say, oh crazy man, what are you doing? Why are you cutting off the forearm? He says, hold a minute, I'm a doctor. This guy has a deadly disease. If I allow his deadly he's disease gonna spread, to spread, he's yeah. going to cause him to die. So what is he now? Is he a good man or a bad man? He's a good man. He's good. But from outside, we judge him as a bad man. Yeah. That's why Allah, one of Allah's names is the all wise. However, we cannot understand everything that Allah created. But that doesn't mean there is no purpose behind it. But what is the most important thing is to know that you are here for a purpose. Yeah. You are here to worship your creator. And the creator has a name and attribute. That's why we as a Muslims, we don't believe Islam is a truth because one day I was sleeping, Prophet Muhammad came to my dream. Now, Allah gave us tangible proofs, logical proofs why Islam is a truth. And you know what makes Islam way stronger? Allah in the Quran said the prophecy. He said, Allah will cause Islam to spread. To spread, yeah? Even if the Islam haters dislike it, now we know that there is a huge war against Islam. In the media, in France, in Belgium, Australia, many countries, there is a huge war against Islam. Yet, the fastest growing religion on the face of the earth is Islam. Who is doing the job? It's the Most High. We as the Muslims, we are weak, but because Allah promised that in the Quran. So, sister, I will make, you, make sure to understand that, look, there is no doubt there is a, t a temptation around us. But Allah always told us, step back individually and think, reflect upon the creation. Why I'm here? Why do I have to die? What will happen to me? Allah said, we're not going to make the evil ones equal to the good ones. And the most evil one, the one who knows his creator, but he turns away from it. Because what's happening now, we are more, we, we care more about human beings than God. Yes, it's good to care about the human beings, mankind, but there's priorities. For example, if I'm good to my neighbors, but I'm bad to my father, am I a good person? No. But remember, I'm good to my neighbors, though. Yeah, but your father is more important. 
accent? What about the one who gave a life to my father and my mother? Yeah. What about the one who gave me life? What about the one who gave me oxygen? Mm -hmm. You know when you go to hospital, you know when they help you for the oxygen, they charge you over 100 pounds. But God gave you this oxygen for free. Well, in this country, it's free. No, 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 hospitals, they, they charge you as well. Okay, yeah, but... Taxes, no. who's paying taxes? Okay, yeah, it's tax, <laughs> but they don't charge you, like... Yeah, but they charge you someone else. Yeah, but it's because they have more money to but, be able But the to point is charging. It. God is not charging no one. God is not charging me because of oxygen that you, you're, okay, then you're breathing. Okay, why do people get sick for no reason? Okay, why people get sick, this is a different topic, because why? Now, it, it, God already cl clarified to us, God will test us. This life is a test. Like, why shouldn't die? That is, God mentioned that in the Quran, this life is going to be full of tests. God tests us because why? Some people, they will worship the Creator only in ease. But in a hardship, they will not worship Him. For example, I can tell you, look, Ryan, you're my sister. I will do everything for you. But when you start going through hardship, I turn away from you. That's when you know who is a good friend, who is not. Yeah, do you understand that? I understand, but like... If that's true, like why do children die for no reason? Like they're innocent. That's they what I'm saying. You, 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 again, we as a Muslim, we believe if a children dies, they go straight away to paradise. We don't believe this is the life. That's it. You understand? Okay, but like, what if the paradise doesn't exist? Like, I'm not saying that it doesn't, but I'm saying like some people will believe that it doesn't exist. They think that it's just this life, and when you die, you die. Like that's yeah, but uh, these people, they, if they, if, if you ask about these people, these people, they have no questions about why children dying because they believe everything is random. So, so even if a child is not religious, then the non-Muslim, they, go, they to still go to paradise. Yeah, yeah, that's a Muslim. Because why? Prophet Muhammad said, every child is born with a natural inclination. What is natural inclination? Is born to submit to God alone. That's what we believe. However, if someone is an atheist, the atheist, they cannot true atheism. I'm not talking about atheists. They don't know what is atheism. Yeah. True atheists, they, they can't believe in it. They cannot criticize what children are dying because everything is random. You cannot, because the concept of good and bad, there is no basis for it in atheism. The, the, the only way they can speak about good and bad, by taking it from Christianity or Islam or Judaism, understand? But when it comes to God, as I've said, doesn't mean because God, there is something that we cannot understand or comprehend, that, therefore there is no reason behind it. Allah mentioned the story, I'm sorry for taking your time, I really appreciate you. You can see you are someone seeking the truth and you want to, you want to learn. I'm interested. Allah mentioned the story in the Quran, yeah? Prophet Moses, you know Moses? Yeah. Prophet Moses. Prophet Moses. Split the sea, right? That's it, yes. Prophet Moses, once he someone asked him, he said, Oh Moses, who is the most knowledgeable person upon the earth? He said, I. Allah rebuked him for that. He said, Don't say that because there's someone has more knowledge in some issues than you. You know the story. So he went to him and he was traveling with him. So one of the stories he mentioned that Moses Mo, uh, his name Al-Khidr, this person is named Al-Khidr. Al-Khidr killed a young boy Moses said to him why are you killing an innocent person this young boy hasn't done nothing to you he said see I told you, you cannot be patient with me then before that they were traveling and someone some uh, two poor young boys helped them to cross the river by using the boat yeah. what, what Al-Khidr did he put a, a scratch you know on the boat he said why these young boys helped us and you are doing something bad he said see I told you, you cannot be patient then they were traveling together again. Then they came across a, 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 a people, a village. They asked the people to feed them. But they said, we're not going to give you food. So Al-Khidr went and he fixed up a wall. There was a wall about to fall down. He fixed it for these two young men. So Moses said, you, you, your, your affair is very strange. The people that helped us, you went and you scratched their boats. Damaged, them, yeah. damaged the boat. These guys, they don't want to host us and you helping them. Al-Khidr said to him, here we have to stop. He said, let me tell you the first story. The young boy, the reason I killed him, he was going to grow up as a wicked person. He was going to make his parents suffer. So I killed him because Allah is going to give them another son which is, who is more righteous and a good person. But how does he know that? Because he's a prophet of God. That's why Al-Khidr said to Moses, he said, the action that I was doing, I was looking from the inward. But you were judging outside. You but see, does your religion not say to not kill? No, no, you're missing the point here. The point is, of course, don't kill. But you... So because was... he's a prophet, he's allowed to kill? No, because God told him about this young boy is going to grow up as a wicked man and he's going to harm his parents. He's going to harm who? His parents. Who told him that God? So my point here is, God does actions. Sometimes we don't understand it because we are judging it from outside. 
but God knows the subject or the issue or the situation inwardly and outwardly. So what God did, he took that young boy as a young boy and he replaced them with someone better than him, which is something which is good. As for the two young boys, listen to the young boys, yeah, that he damaged their boat. He said, the, re the reason I damaged the boat because there's a king in the village. He will take away every good boat. So I damaged it in order for the king to not take it from them because they use it to make money. You see, we're something good. So my, what is the, the point here is that sometimes we easily can misjudge the action of the Most High. We can misjudge our own actions between ourselves. For example, if you have a daughter, you're going to be holding in, injection. To your daughter, you're an evil woman because you are going to harm her. But to you, what are you? You're a good woman because you yeah. try to help her. Yeah. So if a child, and you're going to tell your daughter, but listen. the child doesn't understand. Why? Because her capacity of her brain yeah. doesn't have the Lower ability. What about our brain in comparison to God's actions? Yeah. Is that clear? Yeah. Makes sense? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So that's why we're here. We're here to invite people to Islam. To tell them, come, worship your God. But when we invite the people to Islam, we don't tell them, become a Muslim because we have dreams. No. We are just did, Ryan, Ryan, yeah? I just wait, wait, brother. Don't disturb her. Tell him, please. Don't disturb, you brother. Have to leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is more important than the other ones. Okay. I'm telling you. Trust me. I'm not forcing you, by the way. Yeah. Serious. This just... So what I'm saying to you, Rihanna, if if it makes sense to you. Just two seconds. Right? No, I'll take your time. Take your time. Take you, my brother. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, yeah. What I'm saying to you, sister Rihanna, if it makes sense to you and it's clear to you, and I broke it down to you intellectually with the tangible proofs. What is stopping you to accept Islam and worship your Creator the way He wanted to worship Him? Yeah. You have so no. Yeah, there's nothing stopping me. So why don't you become Muslim then? Um, why don't you worship the Most High, the True God, that created you and gave you a life? I don't know. I'd, I wouldn't want to commit to a religion that I'm not fully knowledgeable about. Like you guys obviously really know what you're talking about. But as I said, like your faith is obviously pure, and I, I wouldn't want to um, join it if I don't actually fully understand about. Okay. It, you know? But the foundation makes sense because none of us here from the Muslims understand Islam, everything about Islam. However, when the if the foundation is clear, that's what I was doing. I was focusing on the foundation. If the foundation makes sense and it's clear, then it's like someone wants to learn how to drive. You're not going to learn everything about driving outside the car. You're going to be inside the car learning. You understand? That's what, what I was telling you. I'm showing that you, what you have within you, the instinct that you have from the, 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 the universal knowledge goes in line with your creator. And the best example to clarify to you what do I mean by universal knowledge? Imagine I give you a, a car and I say, Rihanna, this is a car. I made it. This is the menu. That's how you utilize it. Then you start looking. And it clearly doesn't go in line with how to, to use the car. Yeah. You're going to come back to me and say, Shamsi, you never made it. You see, but if I gave you a, a menu and a guideline that goes in line, how to drive the car, makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. That's why what is Islam. The teaching of Islam goes in line with universal knowledge. Who gave you that universal knowledge? The one that created you. So when he created you, he gave you that universal knowledge because he knows later on he's going to send down the revelation to go in line with that. So you have no excuse on the day of judgment when you stand before him for rejecting the truth. So you think that there will be a day, like an actual day, where we're all judged? No doubt about that. Sister, what happened to Hitler? He did nothing happen to him. How many people he killed? What happened to Mel? Mel, you know Mo? Mel, not Mo from uh, Nottingham Gate. It's Mo. You know Mo is a Chi uh, uh, Mao. Yeah, it's Mao. He's a Chi Chinese. Yeah, Chinese. Yeah. It's Chinese, Baba. Mao is a Chinese communist leader. Do you know how many people killed? What happened to Stalin in the? Uh, uh, uh? You happened to Pharaoh? People that killed. What happened to many people that raped little girls? That's what Allah said. Allah said in the Quran, don't think that Allah is unaware what the people are doing. Rather, Allah is preparing for them a day when they will be so amazed that they cannot even look up because of the, tr the fear and the, and the terror of that day. That's what Allah said. So, Prepare yourselves. So your, your faith believes in like a hell? There is a paradise and hell. What's your hell called? Jahannam. There's many names for it. There's Jahannam, yeah. there is uh, Anar, there's Al Hamiya, there, there's many names of Je the, the place of that fire. And many people say, why God, God is going to punish me? Yeah. Yes? I, I, don't, I, I know what's going on in your mind. Because yeah. I've been doing that for 15 years. However, look, God is the most merciful. 
best of my side. How God is the most merciful is going to punish me. Yeah. God is the most merciful because why? He clarified everything to us in a rational way, in a logical way, in a tangible way that no one deserves to be worshipped except himself. And the outcome of rejecting him is the hellfire. So it's up to you now to follow his teaching. So why, why put them in eternal torture? Why not just let them be dead? Like why not just have no paradise and their life is just over? Like why do they have to be in pain? Okay. Instead of being accepted into paradise. Okay, that's that's that, 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 that. You see what you're doing? You are dictating what God should do. You see? Pardon? You are dictating what God should do. You are dictating it because you're saying no, no. I'm not saying you. Are, I'm just giving. I'm just yeah. telling you because what's happening now, sister? If you bring another person, he will say to you, okay, why God is gonna just make them dead? Okay, if he's gonna make them dead, what about those who, these people, they they they, they oppress God's rights. These people, they were they, they, they were criminals, and God will punish them because why? Because they won't commit the most evil thing. Because as we start looking to the evil things, like. For example, what is the most evil thing to us now? Someone raping a little girl. Yeah. But the, to the most high, that is evil. But to the most high, when you turn away from God, because that's the most evil thing, you turn away from him and you follow the Satan. The reason that you start raping a little girl, because you start worshiping the, the Satan. Devil, yeah. that's it. If you follow God, you will never rape. That, that. That. So what lead you to that evil? Yeah. So what, because people say, some people will say in the camera, maybe when they're watching the video, say how dare you say the most evil thing is when you worship someone beside God. The reason I'm saying that, because all these evils that we look at as the most evil came from turning away from God. So therefore, what led the people to rape little girls? Because they turned away from the teaching of God. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So the most high already clarified to us, the most evil thing that you associate partners with me and you turn away from me and the outcome of that is the hellfire so i'm going to give you a chance that's why in islam we believe allah will punish no one until the truth has been clarified to him if someone lives in a jungle or someone dies and he never heard about islam allah will not punish him straight away allah will test him because allah is the most just however allah has an attribute and names and attributes allah wants to implement his names and attributes based upon his justice. He has the attribute of love, the attribute of mercy, of forgiveness, of highness, of revenge, of anger. That is the most high we worship. He was to implement it based upon justice. That's why, sister, what I'm doing, I'm not forcing you. No, I'm saying, look, not. you have a chance. Now you are alive. You have intellect. Yeah, um, you told me about it. So I'm saying, so now it's up to you to follow it or to reject it. You understand? But on the day of resurrection, don't blame no one except yourself. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Because I already mentioned that. So for you to, to know everything about Islam, if the foundation makes sense, then because what is when a person becomes Muslim, what does he say? He's a revert, my wife is a revert. Well, of course, it's a big step, no doubt. Yeah. No doubt about that. You know? However, it's a step to the most high, to the one who created you. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, all oh mankind, worship the one who created you and your forefathers, the one who made the sky, the one who made the earth. The one who made the trees, the one who gave you everything. You understand? So if the foundation is clear, become Muslim, then learn step by step. The example I give, if you eat the whole cake at once, what will happen to you? Sick. You're sick and you get vomit. In order for you to feel the sweetness of the cake, you take Slowly. it a bit. That's what Islam, step by step. What is it? It's testimony. When you say I bear witness, mean I testify. I should worship my creator alone. And I testify Muhammad the Messenger of Allah. That's but the meaning of it. Thank you so much for talking to me. I can't shake your hand. Oh, I'll try to clarify why. Okay, that's good. You ask me why. Okay. No know. disrespect. But you have to understand why though. Okay. okay. As a Muslim, I'm allowed, because you have to go. Sorry for taking the yeah. time. As a Muslim, I'm allowed to shake the hand of my sister, my daughter, my wife. So but someone is out. No, 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 no. No, even a Muslim woman. That's not my family. I'm not allowed to shake a hand. Anyone that is not related to me, I cannot shake a hand because that can lead to fitna fitna mean can lead to tries and tribulations meaning there's some people that have i'm not going to tell you i'm a pure man you know you, because they're satan maybe i'll touch you and i think ah that woman had soft hand you understand so islam teach us what respect woman take care of her you're allowed to shake this your sister's hand your wife's hand but non-relative don't do it to cut off what the bad foot is that clear yes, makes sense let me give you something as a gift please. Okay. Okay.